This is Life in the Day of Tanisha Scott. My parents are Jamaican. Um, I was born and raised in Toronto, but I travel to Jamaica with my parents at least four times a year. So even though I was born and raised in Toronto, Jamaica of course runs through my blood, but being there and living amongst my family out there just made me appreciate everything about my culture. Any opportunity that came when it came to dance, I didn't back down on that, but I still was forthright with my education. I went away to school once I started university. Um, I joined this dance crew called Do That, and that's when I fell in love with the professional aspect of dance. Do That showed me that not only that I could have a career with this, but it showed me that this is what I was supposed to do. Luther Brown is the first choreographer I've ever had, the first mentor I've ever had that actually said that I have a gift. I never saw it as that. He made me believe in myself and to see something greater than just the club circuit, than just being at the house parties and whatnot. So I joined Do That and I learned so much. I actually never went to any type of formal dance classes or whatnot. I never did ballet, I never did tap or jazz. I had an appreciation for it all, but I danced every day at home that I was actually fulfilled. So we are at LIU University for our first ever Brooklyn Nets Kids dance team audition. Hundreds of people came out, we had to close the registration. We're about to start. After our first cut, we gave them a little break, then I taught them a routine. A routine that was a little challenging, but still easy enough for me to figure out if they can catch on to choreography, if they have a good move, which is very important for Brooklyn, and if they have anything special that they can give and show me. Unbeknownst to me, that wasn't the ending of my dream. I didn't know that I had another dream within me. I just thought it just was just dance in itself. I get a call from one of my dearest friends, Little X. He's a music video director. And he says he has a video that he's about to shoot for an artist named Sean Paul. So of course I'm like, yeah, I know Sean Paul. Okay, well, I'm gonna come back home to Toronto and I'll definitely come and dance in it. And he says, no, I don't want you to dance in this. I want you to choreograph it. I said, Chore Chore what? And he's like, yes, choreograph it. I said, X, I don't choreograph. And I'm like, no, maybe we can get somebody else too. And he's like, no, I'm putting our friendship on the line. I believe in you and I know you can do this. I've never backed down on an opportunity, even though I'm afraid, even though I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go for it. I love dance and I'll be able to figure it out. So I have a question for you. Okay. Uh, no, no. Ever, ever, ever. Sweetheart, so in a moment, they're ready to shoot this. I want you just to come and get this bottle of water, get this gum, or bring it back, pull it out, drink your water, take the bubble gum out, and start chewing it and look at them like it's really not that serious. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, okay? I'm gonna so this is what I'm thinking because she has to go. You have to be true to who you are. I'm so true to who I am. I don't think I'm the best choreographer. I don't think I'm the best dancer. But I know I am the best at being myself. I know I'm the best at doing whatever that I can do to the best of my ability. So it means so much when somebody who has no personal ties to me through blood, through friendship, if I work for them or not, can tell me that they love what I do, that's what gets me through the trials and tribulations because it reminds me, Tanisha, 
you are good enough. Take the passion that you have, nurture it, and feed it with knowledge. Because I'm a choreographer, I went to the New York Film Academy to learn video directing and filming. Not because I want to be a director, but because I want to understand how the camera works. So that when I'm choreographing something for a music video, for a movie, for a commercial, when they're talking about different lenses, when they're talking about different frames per minute, I understood what that meant. So that will only elevate what I'm doing so that they captured the best thing. I also went into and did an acting job on a movie, not because I want to be an actress, but because I want to see and understand when a director's talking to me, when he wants to pull something out of me, the techniques that he uses to get the best out of me from being a person who's not an actress that's trained. I want to know how to talk to my peers, how to talk to the elite of the elite, and to make them the best that they are in what they do in that field. So that's what I mean when I say you need to feed your gift, which is your passion, with knowledge. You gotta learn all the realms of it, and that's only gonna help elevate you and make you the best at what you do.